Truth. I'm guaranteed it. <laughs> Look at that. And it works, it's on. Baby, I ain't got that. we did so earlier this uh, spring I guess it was we had our hot water heater went out so we took advantage of that situation and we went with a tankless water heater um, with that came um, it freed up a 220 for us because the tankless only required a 110 so our plumber just uh, came off of a light switch created a junction box and powered the tankless that way. So it freed up the 220 that our old electric hot water heater was on. So is what we've done is we've ran that wire all the way through our attic and down here because the air condition unit requires it. So I'll show you what all I'm talking about. So we came down through there and we'll clean all this up when I put the FRP board on, but we installed this 220 outlet here. We have AC and power running. It's cooling us down quite a bit, which is nice. And next, we are going to install the CoolBot. Now with the CoolBot, um, again, it's nothing was sponsored, so they didn't send this to us. Uh, they didn't pay for anything. They didn't do anything. We just bought it with our own hard-earned money. And uh, we're just showing you how we do it. And um, so I'll show you guys the next step on this. 
Okay, so down here I have a 110 outlet for the cool bot. We got the AC torn apart because that's what the cool bot's going to require. So I just went ahead and prepped for it. And I'll tell you what we do next. All right, so with the cool bot, we've got 10 steps to follow. We've got a uh, Welcome to Cool Bot pamphlet. Piece of tape that we're going to require, so I'll show you guys what we do. Okay, so they've got pretty good instructions. I'm kind of impressed. Um, so basically, what I got to do first is the there's only one thing atta attached to the coils on the front here. That's the temperature sensor. So it's instructing me to take that temperature sensor off and use the spins. Use this one in place of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. any air filters with this thing. So, it says the only thing to touch the grill will not use this bone. Okay, there's that. Using a two inch aluminum foil that we got. Place the cool out here, right up next to the bone. Yeah. Just no ones. You need more of those gravel screws? Condition sensor. We're taking foil that they provided at Coolbot. We're taking the heater wire that they also provided here, the heater, and we're combining the two together into here. So Coolbot does a really good job of um, giving a diagram instead of not just. Uh, His pictures for us idiots. All right, so I am inserting the fins cord, just the tip, into pretty good and if you do not have Wi-Fi stick to skip none goes to mine. so power supply is the 10 I do have the data so I got the um, Wi-Fi since this is out in the garage uh, I can monitor 
this entire deal uh, via Wi-Fi. So I've got to hook up the Wi-Fi next. installed. Um, this thing was easy to install. Uh, basically what you do is you take this lid off. Coolbot says that you have to have a uh, digital AC unit. So what I did is I bought the exact same AC unit that they recommended on their site. So if you go to their site, they're extremely helpful. They tell you if you put in the dimensions of your cool room or whatever you're doing, that will tell you exactly which unit to use. Now is what I did is I bought the exact same unit, but I bought it from Home Depot because it was like a hundred and something dollars cheaper than buying it from Coolbot. And then I didn't have to pay for shipping either. So you can get their idea on their AC unit and then price it out and go see what it cost elsewhere. It saved us some money. So uh, I think the Coolbot was $4.99 or $5.99 or something like that, but it's worth it. Um, so basically all you do is you take off the sensor from the fins. Once you get this panel off here, uh, you combine that with the heater sensor that they provide here with some foil. Then you take their cool fin, is what they call it, their fin sensor, and you kind of jam it in about a quarter of the weight. It says just the tip, fellas. So uh, you put that in there, you set the AC to high fan, uh, as cold setting as you can get and on cool then you have to create your account so you go online you create your account uh, and it guides you through how to set it up for the, I got the Wi-Fi version uh, so I got that as close to the house as I can so uh, that way I can monitor it from my phone should anything happen if I'm out here agent B for anything like that uh, and then I just put the panel back on and we're rocking and rolling 